we have different relationships with different people we meet in our lifetime, which is primarily dependent on our nature. Metals show a similar behavior too. They react with different elements in different ways. Let us learn more about it in this video. In one of our previous topics, you have already studied that metals are hard solids with lustrous surfaces, which can be beautifully beaten into thin sheets and rolled into thin wires and which can conduct heat and electricity. So you should have a fairly good idea of the physical properties of metals. Let us begin with the reaction of metals with oxygen. Sodium is stored in kerosene bottles. When exposed to air, sodium immediately reacts with oxygen in the air and forms sodium oxide. This oxide deposits on the surface of sodium and causes it to tarnish. Other metals, say magnesium, copper, gold and silver, do not react with oxygen at room temperature. Thus, sodium is the most reactive amongst these metals. However, on heating, magnesium burns in oxygen with a bright white light and forms magnesium oxide, which is seen as a white powder. Copper, on heating till red hot, reacts with oxygen and forms copper oxide, a black deposit on the surface of copper. Silver and gold, however, do not react with oxygen even on heating. Let us now study how metals react with water. For this, drop a small piece of sodium in a trough filled with cold water. Sodium splits up water, forming sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas in a highly exothermic reaction. This generated heat ignites the hydrogen gas explosively. This is seen as a yellow flame on the surface of water. Now, drop a piece each of magnesium, copper, silver and gold in separate troughs filled with cold water. No such explosion occurs. This confirms that these metals do not react with cold water. However, a magnesium strip on being heated in steam forms magnesium hydroxide and hydrogen gas, which is seen burning on the mouth of the vent tube. Lastly, we shall discuss the reaction of metals with cold, dilute hydrochloric acid. Similar to previous experiments, drop a small piece each of sodium and magnesium into two separate test tubes filled with dilute hydrochloric acid. We can see effervescence in both the test tubes. However, the bubbling seems more violent in the case of sodium, indicating its higher reactivity. What causes this bubbling? Well, sodium reacts vigorously with hydrochloric acid to form hydrogen gas, which causes effervescence. Now, drop a piece of copper, gold and silver into three other test tubes filled with cold dilute HCl. No change is observed. This implies copper, silver and gold do not react with cold and dilute HCl. To sum up, we have studied that metals react with oxygen to form their respective oxides. On reaction with water, metals form respective hydroxides, 
with the liberation of hydrogen gas. Metals like sodium react with cold dilute acids to liberate hydrogen gas. From among the metals we just discussed, copper, silver and gold are relatively unreactive metals. We studied the reactions between metals and oxygen, water, acid, etc. But how do you think non-metals react with oxygen or water? Watch our upcoming videos to find out. Keep imbibing. We believe in you.